Hi guys, welcome back to Practice Lab. In this video, I'm going to solve a problem which was asked in one of the interview conducted by Oracle. The candidate had around 3.5 years of experience working as a Java developer and apart from Java, he was having knowledge of writing REST APIs, Spring Boot and later about data as well. When he solved this problem statement, he was selected and he was offered a CTC of 13 LPF. Now let me tell you what was the problem statement and how he solved it. Okay, so he was given a list of product objects where each product had fields like name, category and stock form and he was asked to group these products by their category and at the same time calculate the total stock count for each category okay so if you consider this as a list then for electronics category if you count the total stock count is 50 plus 100 plus 30 that becomes 180 so my output should print like categories electronics and total stock count for that category is 180 Okay, guys, so let's get started and see how to solve this by using Java at Stream APIs. So here you can see I have written a class product and inside that I have declared three fields, name, category and stop count. Now let me declare getters and setters which will be used to get and set the values for each field. Now let me declare a constructor which will be used to create the products by using the fields. Okay, now I'm done with the creation of product class. Next thing is I need to create the list of these products. So here you can see I have declared another class, product stock analysis, and inside that I have written a main method, which is going to be starting point for our program execution. Next thing is I need to declare a list. So I'm going to use java.util.list, and this list is going to hold the products I'm going to use, list of product. And I'll declare a variable which will be used to hold this list. So I'm going to use arrays dot as list to create the list of products and then i'll copy the products list from the problem statement and then paste it here so here i got the list of product next thing is i need to use java stream APIs to convert uh, to <coughs> solve this problem statement so to convert this list into java stream api i'm going to use stream function so i'm going to use product list dot stream function to convert this list into stream. Next thing is I need to group this product by their category. So I'm going to use collect function and inside it I'm going to use collectors dot grouping by function. This function takes a parameter which will be used to group this product. Okay, so here I need to pass the field which will be used to <coughs> group the product. So here I'm going to use category which will be something like electronics or personal care or groceries. So I'll get these products and by their category. Next thing is I need to calculate the sum of total stock count as well. So here I'm going to pass another parameter by using collectors dot summing int function. This summing int function takes a parameter which will be used to calculate the sum. So here I'm going to pass product dot get stock count. So this will give me a map of category or string comma integer where my string is going to be category and uh, this total stock count is going to be integer value. Now this integer is going to be the total stock count. So I'll declare a variable which will hold the results. So this map is going to be from java.util and this key is going to be type string and value is going to be type value and I'll simply declare a variable which will be used to store the results. Now I got a map of category comma total stop count. Now simply I need to print the details from this map. So I'm going to use map dot for each and here I'm going to pass category and total stop now and i'm going to use lambda expression to print these details so here i'm going to use sysout system dot out dot in ln and i need to pass the category as so i'm going to make it as category and the value of this is going to be category and next thing is total stop 
it is going to be total stock. Okay, now I'm done with writing code. So let us see what is the output. So here you can see a uh, category for groceries category. I have total stock count as 800. For personal care, I have total stock count as 380. And for electronics category, I have total count as 180. So let's validate the output. So we are getting the <coughs> expected output. Okay, guys. So that's it from this video. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Also, if you have such interview questions, you can share this with us. We will try to solve this in the upcoming video. Also, if you need any assistance to crack the interviews, you can connect us at practice.23 at Thank you. Bye.